2 wizard produces 2 dice. Level 2 wizard produces 2 dice. Engine of... Oh, I'm sorry. Here's the level 2 wizard. Engine of the God produces an extra dice. And here we go with the spells. Okay, let's try Uranon's Thunderbolt. I'm going to use his three dice, and I'm going to cast it on them. Here it comes. Nine up to make it. And that makes it with an 11. So now my opponent decides to scroll it or do a dispel dice on it. You want me to roll it? What, what does it do? Oh, it's, uh, sorry, I guess I could tell you. Unit in line of sight takes die six, strength four hits with no armor save. Okay, he's going to throw three dice at it for dispelling. He needs an 11 or higher to make it. And that's a 10. So here it comes. Die six. So we get rid of the dice that have been used. Best just to get them off the table. That way you don't use the same one. So die six, strength four hits. Four strength four hits. Toughness is three, right? And so that's three wounding hits, no save. So three of those guys are toast. Unless they're toughness four. Okay, so magic phase, I just wiped out this unit of Warhounds, which is only a 30-point unit, so, so what? These Marauders, even though they took three casualties out of five, have the mark of Slaanesh, so they like it. They wish they could have some more. Uh, bolt Thrower on them. They're over 24 inches away, so they're at minus one. Five up to hit. No hit. Uh, this thing shoots. We need an artillery dice. Manor does. Okay, so here's how Salamander shoots. You put the flame template out, you point it the direction you want it to go, and then you roll an artillery dice, which we don't have, so basically uh, a six is a misfire, and then you just double the result of any other number. So here it comes, two inches. So it goes two inches, and then whoever's covered uh, is affected, which is nobody, so that's effectively a miss. No close combat, end of Lizardmen turn one. do movement. Okay, we have uh, knights moving around on this flank here. And this was what I think is a pretty good move. He moved the fast cavalry right up in my face here and then turned them. So basically, I either have to sit here and not move, or I have to charge these guys. They could flee, and in which case I just trundle forward four inches right into charge range of these other guys. Or, if I contact them and win, now I gotta pursue them this way, probably leaving my flank exposed for a counter charge by the Chaos Warriors. So all in all, not such a good situation for me. Uh, by the way, I'm a huge fan of fast cavalry. Uh, over here, we had the Chaos Sorcerer. He went ahead and charged the Salamander. That was an oversight on my part. I shouldn't have move them forward that far, but we'll see what's, what, what happens. The Salamander's a, a tough little beastie. Uh, and then these guys moving around on this flank. We've got the Marauders kind of hiding there. And now it's uh, Chaos Magic. Uh, we'll let you know if anything significant happens there. Hey, uh, Lizard Man, turn two, movement. Uh, basically, I charge the Stegodon into these guys. And... Um, I uh, fear not the charge of these here. However, I did open myself up to a flank charge, which could be very bad for me. I charged my um, Scar Veteran out and into these Marauders, so he's probably going to make short work of them. Uh, at least, and then this unit is just sitting tight here. This moved in for a flank. Now this is where the uh, Mark of Slaanesh is handy, because these guys will not have to take a terror check course if they had to they would have oh they wouldn't have made it on the general's leadership um, uh, my good opponent here uh, again Sky Marshal Anonimo uh, the, the the man that you love not to know uh, charged me with the but that really I, I think he rolled uh, 10 ones in a row like everything came up once even the leadership check at the end uh, so yeah really a bad run there but uh, certainly not the worst thing that could have happened uh, so basically, I just kind of set up, I set uh, the skinks out on a suicide mission, basically blocking these guys. Same thing, it's either, you know, be stymied or charge me. So um, they will probably just get overrun by the Chaos Knights, but if they sell their lives dearly, they'll delay them by one turn. 
So still uh, only turn to anybody's game. Let's see what happens. Uh, toughness four. Okay, got it. Before we start. Okay. Okay, great. Uh, we're doing this combat here, which is a st uh, ancient Stegodon and uh, the crew and versus these uh, Chaos Warriors. So the Stegodon Ancient needs four ups to hit. He gets three attacks. Let me use these dice instead. Uh, that's one hit. Strength six versus toughness four is two up. So two, uh, one wounding hit minus three to the save. So they have Chaos Armor, so they need... Um, Fives. Yep. So I got a four. Okay, so one guy dies. And then now the skink crew, there's four crewmen needing fours. So there are three wounding hits. And then they need fives to wound. Strength three, toughness uh, four. One wounding hit. Uh, no modification to the save. There you go. Now the skink priest, one hits and no wound. So I did one wound. So three guys are attacking back. How many attacks each do they have? Two, Two and then seven. three for this guy. All right, seven attacks Two, back from the Chaos Warriors. Four, you you three. need to split them between the Skink crew and the Stegodon. My recommendation, kill the crew for three, combat three. result. Three ups to hit. Good. And two ups to wound. Okay. So that slaughters the crew without... Oh, no, wait a minute. Oh, rock on. They get a two-plus save standing up there on that howdah. Okay, so um, it would be their strength four, right? Yep. Okay, so they need three ups to save. Four wounding hits, you say? Yep. Okay, here it comes. Uh, that's one guy dies. So let's put a little wound marker on there. Wasn't bad. To, to indicate that one skink has died. A little heart shaped grave. I imagine skinks make cute noises when they die. <laughs> Bravo. Not that we condone that or think that's funny. Just to be clear. Mm -hmm. okay. It's an act of cruelty to kill a poor little defenseless skink with no armor and two toughness. The weakest creature in the universe. Oh, yeah. One wound. I've got the standard bear musician. Okay, so you have a banner, so your score is two. Mm -hmm. Who's got the out number? Oh, I have yeah. seven. That thing. Uh, hold on a second. Go. All right, let's talk about combat result. The chaos side gets a point for a wound and a point for a banner. Uh, do they get the out number? No. The stegodon always counts as unit strength 10. So 10 to 7. So I got a wound and the out number. So it's even. So it's a draw unless one side has a musician and the other side doesn't have a musician. And you have a musician. In which case, I lose the combat by one. So here it comes. Um, the lizard men have scaly skin. Excuse me. Cold-blooded, which means they roll three dice and take the lowest two. His leadership is six, stubborn, so he, roll, he tests on a six, and uh, he, this guy confers his leadership to him. Now, I don't know if that also gets the bonus for being stubborn. Well, let's roll and see if it matters. Here it goes. Lowest two. Oh, it do no, it doesn't matter, because even if it's on his at minus one, a seven would still make it. So, Stegodon holds. And uh, that's the end of Lizardmen turn two. See, the turns can go so fast. <laughs>